Good afternoon YouTube, I'm Anthony, this is Palm Meadow Prepared and today we're going to do that water filter I was talking about a couple videos ago. We're going to take a 1 liter bottle and we are going to fill it up with some charcoal, sand and gravel and we're going to make a filter to filter out the water back there from my creek because if anyone knows you can purify water by boiling it but that doesn't get out all the chemicals and potential suit and stinky smell and all kinds of nastiness so if you want to make sure you filter it then you you know purify it so we're gonna make a filter today and uh, first things first we gotta go get some of that nasty water all right so this is my creek nice little uh, water source we got here uh, but as you can tell the water's got that murky look to it because I got a lot of oaks around here so all the tannins from the acorns and the leaves get into the water and make give it that nice little color so that's what we're going to be trying to filter out today so i got this little vase or vase vase va however you pronounce it i've never actually you know figured that one out but anyway we're going to fill this up with some water so get that nice little yellowish color to it but let's go filter this thing out all right so in order to be 100 percent transparent about what i'm actually doing i'm going to take some of our control water this murky nastiness and I'm going to pour it in this glass as a control. Alright, this nice little yellow water, this will be the control so we can see exactly how much difference the filter makes. Alright, now, got my charcoal, I put it on a coffee filter, that way there's a little medium between the actual charcoal and the cap where I put a hole in so that way we don't get just charcoal coming out. So I put a uh, coffee filter to kind of hold it all together when I put the charcoal in. So now the charcoal's in, we're going to put sand in. And luckily for me, when they built this front part of my property, they put it all on sand, so I just went out there and dug and got a whole bunch of sand. So now we got the sand in, we got the charcoal layer, we got the sand layer, and I've packed it down. Uh, we're going to put in some rocks, some gravel. And luckily, since I got chickens, I got a whole bunch of their grit, which is just crushed up granite. So I'm just going to put a handful or two of the uh, crushed up granite grit right on top. So there we go. So we got some gravel, sand, and charcoal with the uh, coffee filter. So we're going to, uh, you know what, I'm going to get a bandana and I'm going to put it around here just in case it's a fail safe, just in case that coffee filter tears. So let me be right back. All right, so now I got a bandana and I'm going to just put the bandana around the bottom side and I'm going to zip tie it to the lid. This is one of those times where having three hands would really pay off. So, adapt and overcome. Now, we have our glass, we have our water filter. I'm just going to put it right in there. And you can see it, hopefully. All right. And we are going to pour our nasty in the glass. Alright, now what you're seeing is a learning experience occurring. What has actually happened is the coffee filter bit me in the butt because the water that was going through the sand is creeping around that water filter not going through the charcoal like I wanted to. So I'm going to pull it back apart and take out that coffee filter and most likely put a piece of cotton in the cap. That way that'll act as a little filter for the particulate and uh, the water can actually go through the charcoal. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try take two. This time I took the bandana off the outside and I put a cotton ball in the lid. The charcoal, I put the bandana inside between the sand and the charcoal to hopefully be a good buffer with a little bit of a coffee filter in between it as well and the gravel. So we're going to see if that works out better than the other one. I know it's going to be a little dirty at the beginning, but that was just a, a lot of dirt water and it was actually coming out 
worse than it was before. So let's go ahead and give this one a shot. All right. All right, so it looks like the water that came out of the filter is dirtier than what we're getting in there. I'm assuming it's because you got to break in the filter. So we're going to dump it back in here and we're going to see if it starts getting cleaner. All right, round three. I tossed that dirty water because of the break in and I'm going to put some more. I went down to the creek again and got some more. That yellow nasty water. We're going to try it again. All right, that's number three. Let's try number four. We're going to go ahead and pour that back in the top and see if it gets clear this time. It looks like it's getting a lot clearer. Every single time you do it, it gets cleaner. So uh, we should be ready in the next this one or the next one we'll see I'll, I'll get back with you when this one's done all right this is number six this is the last one I'm gonna do because let's face it uh, I'm not gonna sit here and keep on updating y'all on five six seven nine twelve whatever uh, basically I think we get the gist of what's going on here uh, with any filter you have to uh, break them in that's a learning experience for me so uh, the times that I've watched this and seen this and whatever done and it comes out clean the first time, that's uh, go ahead and put in a BS on that one because it doesn't because you got to break in every single filter you do, obviously. Now this is number six running through over and over again. The charcoal, sand, and pebbles. And it takes quite a few you know minutes to go through every single time. But as you can see from the control versus now, there's a marked difference in uh, clarity. So I'm sure if you do this about one or two more times, you'll get that crystal clear water that we won't have anything. And then this filter will be good to keep being reused over and over and over again. Now, you're still going to, I don't know about y'all, but I, I'm still going to want to boil this just to make sure that there's no pathogens and amoebas and all kinds of nasty, weird stuff in there. Because I, you know, there's beavers in that creek and I don't want to get any beaver fever. So I'm still going to boil it before I drink everything. But at least I know that the sediment and the odor because i definitely smelled this and the odor is gone compared to this one it smells funky pond nasty scum or whatever i smelled this one after about the fifth time and it really don't smell anything so the smell is gone um so with that being said i just wanted to uh show y'all how you can make a filter with charcoal sand and uh, gravel basically things that you can find around your your house put into you no know, not two this is a one liter uh two liters are, uh don't don't drink soda so they got me a one liter and uh you can make a filter easily with uh, household stuff just in case you ever need to and this is one of those things where i highly advise if you actually want to get into this you know bushcraft kind of thing to uh, practice because obviously there's a learning experience for me didn't realize you had to run it through so many times to break in the filter but with that being said i'm not going to keep you here all day i hope you learned something because i sure did and if you did go ahead and hit like uh subscribe share this video all you want to and i will catch y'all later all right